my most favorite design events opening the New York Spring every year, also known as the best fashion event of the year, is the opening of the annual show at the Costume Institute of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It is always surprising, exciting, well done, and mostly remarkable. This time taking place at the new Anna Winter Costume Center is the superb exhibition Charles James Beyond Fashion. It comes to celebrate the glamour career of one of the more important and intriguing figures in the history of fashion couture. To the visionary James, fashion was much more than a form of design. Clothing to him was a form of art and he the artist declared more than once to be the most copied person in the entire world. Paul Poiret once told him, I give you my crown because you do in cut what I've done in color. James was a genius when it came to cut. His finest gowns reveal how he wrapped the body in spirals, transforming the natural body into platonic ideal of freedom and movement. He was fascinated with complex cuts and seaming that enabled him to create some of the key elements of his signature style. He knew the female anatomy and approached the dress like a sculptor, constructing pieces that resulted from mathematical methods of tailoring. James was a student of the past, creating eccentric and unorthodox shapes that rooted in history. In his hand, Victorian petticoats, corset-like bodices, and empire gowns were turned into dresses that fitted perfectly to those living the glamour lifestyle of the post-war era. Set in theatrical black boxes extending to galleries, the exhibition was designed by the architectural firm Diller, Scofidio, and Renfer. The historic costumes are shown with animated digital images that analyze the scientific construction of each garment. It is the only way to understand the complexity from inside out. I found the show inspiring and moving in a way we hope to be moved when entering a museum. It makes you think differently about style. James was conscious about ensuring his legacy even during the height of his career, directing his client to give examples of his work to the collection of the Brooklyn Museum. After leaving the inspiring show while walking through the extravagant lobby of the Met as it looked almost ready for the Costume Institute Ball that night, I was thinking of what he said about inspiration. I don't think you can feel fashion, James noted, without being exposed to imaginative and fashionable people. 